All right, once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online class, and in this video, I'll be showing us how to make a waistcoat or known as monkey jacket. All right, so these are the measurements we'll be working with. The shoulder is 18, the waistcoat length is 26. Now, while taking your waistcoat length, you stop at exactly where your waist is at the belt point. Then the waist, now you take note of the waist of the person, the waist is 38. Then the neck of the person is 16. Then the chest is 42. Now we're we'll working with the waistcoat lining. Then you also have a waistcoat hook. As at when I'm doing this video, there is no waistcoat hook on ground, but this is a waistcoat hook, also known as your adjuster. This is what you use to adjust. All right. Then suit lining. This is our suit lining. We'll be working with this as well, suit lining. So having said that, we'll begin the cutting proper. So to begin with, this is the fabric I'm working with. I'm working with an Ankara fabric. Now I'm working with two yards. Now the first thing you do, you fold the fabric into two. Now take a look, the folding, the opening is facing me. Take note, it's just the opposite of the way you fold for your senator top. So the first thing you do after folding, you mark three, you mark three quarter inch. Take note, you're marking three quarter inch down to the desired length. That three quarter inch will serve for the overlapping. You're marking three quarter inch down to the ending. Remember it will serve for overlapping. Okay. So, so we'll now start our measurement at this point. Take notes. Then we we'll also mark another straight line. Remember, when doing your sewing, you don't add the printed part. So we'll cut off that part. Okay. So we now have this. So to begin with, remember the neck is 16, but you're not making use of this neck. You're not making, if you check your waistcoat, you have two patterns of neck. You have two patterns of neck. You either have your round neck in this form, or you have your V shape like neck. Those are the two patterns. So we'll be working with this other round pattern okay so now the first thing you do is at this point now let's begin at this point you mark three inch take note you mark three in starting from the three quarter point you mark three inch then you move down by three inch if you're doing for adults sorry for kids remember this is for adults three by three inch if you're doing for kids you can go by two by two the wideness two then the depth two since we're doing for adults we use three inch then we use move down by three inch all right so you now make your curve as shown make your curve as shown nice curve just the way you do your normal senator top okay then the next thing now the shoulder is 18 this is your normal shoulder measurement but in the case of waistcoat i'll be removing three inch from here if you're doing for keys, after taking the exact shoulder, you remove 2 or 3 inch. I'm removing 3 inch. So 18 divided by 2 will give me 9. But as I said, I'll remove 3 inch. So I'm using 7, starting from this point. Okay. Then your half inch sewing allowance. Take note. The exact measurement was supposed to be 9, but I removed 3 inch. It was a sewing allowance. Take note. So I'm marking at this point. Then your shoulder slant, I'm using two and a half inch for adult, two and a half inch. Then for kids, two inch shoulder slant. Just the way you slant. So you connect this point from this shoulder slant to this point. You connect them as shown. Okay, perfect. All right, so now the next thing, starting from this shoulder slant, you now mark your armhole. Now this person's armhole is 21, so you divide the armhole into two because we're cutting the front panel alone. This is the front panel, so 21 divided by two gives you 10.5. But since we're doing the front alone, you subtract three into one, two, three, so you have seven and a half. Remember, if you're doing for adults, take note. If you're doing for adults, two, sorry for kids. The armhole divided by 2 minus 3 
remember the, this person's arm hold is 21 so this is removing 3 inch from here 10.5 1 2 3 okay so at this point we now put your chest measurement now this person's chest the chest is 42 42 so 42 since we're cutting the front alone and this fabric is divided into two so you divide your chest by four take note chest divided by four so 42 divided by four will give you ten and a half plus one inch sewing allowance okay so you have it there so if you have your armhole you make your armhole at this point you make your armhole so I'll be doing a free, remember I'm a free hand tailor, so I'll be doing this quickly. So I'll be using my hand to make the armhole curve down. Alright. Okay. So that is it. So we've got in the chest now. Remember the next thing is the top length. Remember the top length stops at the waist region. The top length is 26. So this is 26. I'm stopping there. It was half inch for sewing allowance so is where you stop now you also take note of the waist point now the waist point is 38 so you divide 38 by 4 that is nine and a half so you have nine and a half plus half in sewing allowance so you now connect these points to the chest region so you connect this down so our front panel is ready so this is how to go about so quickly before we round up now if you take a look at your waistcoat let me bring an already made one you'll notice this point look at the slant then this part is big how do you go about it now you divide this full measure remember at this point we have 10 inch take note at this down point the total the width is 10 inch so we are dividing this into three parts Dividing this into three parts will give you three one quarter each. Three one quarter each. Take note. So you mark here first one, three one quarter. The second one, three one quarter. Then the third one will give you this. So now the next thing you do is so divide this into three parts. Take note the down part where your waist stops. You divide it into three. Now remember this is the neckline region while this is your armhole region so take note you're moving up two inch you're moving up two inch you're doing the same for kids then the armhole point so you're moving up two inch two inch so the next thing to remember this damper was divided into three this damper was divided into three remember so you now connect these parts to one third from this two inch mark you're moving down one third then this part you're moving half of it okay so that will enable us to have this this stuff here so we're through with our front panel so we'll do the cutting now all right so we're through cutting the front so the next thing you do you fold you fold your fabric again into two fold your fabric again into two as shown Remember, we're doing a simple waistcoat. So you fold the fabric again into two, then you place as shown. Now, please take note the folding for the back. This is the back folding. Now, the folding for the back, take note. Unlike that of the front, the opening was facing you, but this time around it's closed. Take note. Just your normal scimitar top. Alright, so now you place this. This is the front panel. Now, while placing this, please remember while we were cutting the front, we added three quarter inch and we say that three quarter inch goes for your overlapping so you remove it as you can see you remove it make sure you maintain it down to the end so quickly first step just like when you cut your normal seed we're doing this down then you now drag this take watch carefully drag the front down by 3.5 so dragging this please while dragging it down you still take note of your so let's confirm this if it is up to 3.5 okay still have it or oh, three inch all right perfect so let's use three inch let's use three inch all right so the next thing you do is 
you fold all right so you fold watch carefully you fold this you fold this okay so you fold this then after folding you trace watch carefully you're tracing from this point tracing down down then you open this then you trace from here all right so you have this okay finally you trace the arm hole back as well so you're tracing this Okay, the reason why we subtracted now the reason why we subtracted three inch away from the front panel was because we have the back to cut we have our back to cut so by the time you measure your armhole down to this point okay, exactly remember the armor we said was 22 so by the time you confirm the measurement starting from this point down down so you have your 22 there so you trace the body as well Now watch carefully, there's something I want to explain. Remember the back, the back stops at this point, at this point here. Take note, that is where the back stops. Okay? Please watch carefully. This is not at this point. Remember there's an arc here. But the back stops where the arc starts from. Take note, from this point. Remember there's pointed, let me bring the... Okay, remember the back, this is where I'm trying to point out. The back stops at this point here. Take note. At this point, not here. Take note. That is what I'm trying to explain. So, okay, so this is how to go about cutting a waistcoat. So, the next thing, finally, remember we said the neck point, we are using a round curve. So, the depth I want to use the depth I'm using 10 inch 10 inch depending on how short I'm using 10 inch so your curve comes this way down this way down this way so let's do that now so to the point of your neck all right so you have this to so refill is not well curved you can still you know So you have this so this is it now in a situation whereby you want the v you cut it in form of your v i already said we have two types the v shape and that of the ram like shape so the next thing i'll be showing us is how to fix we want to start the sewing proper but first we need to go all through so you get your suit gum you go all through all right so we now want to start the components proper now if you take a look at your waistcoats you take a look at the waistcoat this now this is the inside you notice now this is the outside then this is the inside you notice the main fabric stay in then you notice your suit lining there too so first let's cut this part so to do that now we want to cut the main part okay let me turn this so you you see it well let me use the contrasting part so it will be clear for us now this is a good part this is the neck point this is the neck point so watch carefully what i'll be doing so i'll be cutting this from the neck point down cutting this down remember you fold you're using two fabric that fold is on full so you're cutting this down then move down to the hack points down to these other parts then move down. This is the armhole point. Take note, this is the armhole point. From this arc down, you're stopping at seven. Take note. Okay, let's stop at eight. Take note, you're starting from here. Let's recap. You're starting from here down. This is the neck point. Cut down. Stopping at eight. Now, this part, you're showing, divide it into two. Now, this is your shoulder slant into two. Your full shoulder slant here is five but so that will be 2.5 so take from here the middle down shoulder 
this land, taking it down to the point of that eighth inch. All right. So you now have this. So we we'll use this. So you keep this aside. So use this to cut your lining as well. Take note, use this to cut your lining. Okay, this is the back panel. Now I want to cut the lining. This is the back panel. So we'll be using this as a lining. So trace this. Trace this part. So you trace this all through. Alright, so we are through tracing our lining. So this is our lining. Now watch carefully. First, when you're through, this is your lining for the back. You trace the neck out a little. I explain that later on. Just a little. Okay. You also do that at the down part as well. Remember, this is the back lining as well. The down part. All right. So, okay, so I'm through gumming. Remember, I use suit gum to gum all through, like I said. You use your suit gum to gum all through. All right, we, we are through fixing gumming the whole um, panel. You gum with your suit gum. So, the next thing you do is we now want to fix a well pocket. Remember, in your waistcoat, there is a well pocket. Now, this is the point of the armhole. This is the point of the armhole. Now, from this side down, starting from here, the point of the armhole, you mark two inch to fix a well pocket. Two inch you mark. Then from here down, five inch. Then from this arc down here, six inch. Take note. From this point to this point, two inch. Then you mark the width of your well pocket. Then from here to this point is six inch. So that is where we we'll fix our well pocket. Okay, so now we want to fix the weld pocket. Now, this is the fabric I use for the weld pocket. Now, the height, the width of the weld pocket is half inch by five inch. Now, remember, we've done the marking as seen. We've done the marking. So, you now put this. You put this starting from this point. All right. Remember, this is your paper gum stay used. So, you now sew from this point. Just the normal way you do your trouser weld pocket. So you sew from this point down to this point. Then you sew from this point down to this point. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm through sewing. So the next thing you do, just the normal way you do your normal trouser weld pocket. This is what you're doing here. All right, so I'm through with that part. So you, the next thing you do, you sew this part closed. Remember, just the normal way you do your weld your trouser weld pocket, that is the same thing you're doing here. Okay, then you sew this other second part as well. Sew this other second part. Then when you're through sewing that part, the next thing you do is, you just sew this round, very short. So let's do that now. Okay, quickly. Now, after cutting off this part, remember, after cutting off this part, what we need to do is we need to keep that armhole smooth as, as you can see smooth so what to do is after cutting off that little part we did the excess we said was to avoid the lining showing as you can see this part is very smooth now see the lining hiding inside so what to do is, is you now turn this you turn them together take a look remember this is a good side so you turn this turn this to the back so you now sew so what we do now, we now sew, so let's... So we're trying to sew the armhole round. So as it will look very neat. All right, so when you're through sewing, you put notch all through. You're putting notch all through. Then I turn this back. Turn this back. All right, so at this stage, we're through with our front panel. So you iron that neatly. Always make sure you iron your 
the work. Alright, so we now want to start the sewing proper. Now, before we, we start the sewing, if you take a look, you see an adjuster at the back. Like I said, while doing this video, there was no adjuster, but I'll show us what to do. And secondly, in the course of this video, now let's take a look at this already made with school that I did. Now, if you take a look at the back, this is the good side, the back. This is the good side of our waistcoat. Now, you see that there is a suit lining at the back, which I adjusted there. But the owner of this particular waistcoat said, no, he wants the fabric all through. Remember, we are supposed to use the lining at the back, at the back, just like this waistcoat you're seeing here. This is the good side, the back. But in this case, instead of this showing at the back, he wants the fabric, this, to be showing at the back. So the next thing I'll also be explaining is the adjuster. We are using this. Remember I said there is no adjuster, but let's use this in the form of the adjuster. So where do you fix the adjuster? Now, this is the back panel of your waistcoat. This is the back panel, the good side showing you. So from this point, from the down point, this is the down point. You mark five and a half inch. Five and a half inch. Then you get your adjuster, then you do something in this form, you sew and you turn like a belt loop, then you fix this, fix this, you fix it to your waistcoat, sorry, your adjuster. Then after fixing, you now sew at this point, you now sew at this point, so this will be serving as your adjuster. Then you get the second, you know, loop as well, then you move over to this way, same, you mark same thing, five and a half inch, you mark. Then you now sew this point. You now sew and stop somewhere here. So by the time you do that, this will now serve as your, you know, waistcoat adjuster. So having said this, we now start the sewing proper. All right. So to begin with, now this is your back panel, the good side facing you, and now this is your lining. This is your lining. Remember, in a situation whereby you want this lining to be showing at the back, it should be the lining before the uh, main fabric. But in this case, it is the main fabric. This person wants the main fabric to be showing at the back. Take note. So you now place your lining. So the first thing you do, you now sew. This is the neck. Sew just a little at the neck point. So let's do that now. Trying to sew the neck round. Okay. When you're through sewing the neck round, you sew the down part as well. This is the neck point. Then you move over to the down part. Watch carefully. This is the down part of our waistcoat. The down part. So you sew just a quarter inch. Just a quarter inch. You sew. Remember, after the neck, you're moving down down part, this is the ending part of our waistcoat. So you sew and stop there, half, just, let's say, six inch, then you skip at least four inch. The reason why we are skipping this, that is the point where we turn your waistcoat. That is the point where we turn. Remember, the sewing is in form of a suit, whereby there won't be any, okay? So then you continue your sewing. down to the end. Alright, so after this, let's pick our panels. Alright, so I'm through sewing the neck and the down part. So you pick our panels that I want to work with. Now pick our panels. Now, this is my right panel. This is my right panel. So what I do, watch carefully. Now, the, the, the line is facing you. So you open this neck point. You open this. Take note, this is my back panel. This is my back panel. Now you open this as shown. You open this. So you open this. This is the shoulder slant. Remember, this is my right panel. My right panel. Now, good side, good side facing you. Take note, this is the good side of your back panel, and this is the good side. So you face this just the way you put your normal senator. So you place this. After then, you now cover this. You cover it. Then you now sew half inch. So watch carefully. 
very technical, so half inch. Remember, the right panel is in between the back, so okay, so this then now so watch carefully. I'm saying half inch. Now when you get to this point, now when you get to this, this is the end parts of the front panel, the end parts. So when you get to that point, make sure this point is very tight. You get to that point, then you now move down this way. Okay, still move forward a little. Then watch carefully. From this point where the front panel stopped, remember the armhole. So now so in. Remember it's inside, so you're moving down. You're moving down, the lining and the lining, this is the lining and your back panel. Now when you get to this point, remember your front panel is still inside. Remember, so you bring in your front panel, then you join it to that point. Take note, this is the armhole. Remember, this is your front panel, so you continue from there, you add it there, just the way you did at the next point. Then you continue the sewing, now close them. Now this time around, remember, it's the back panel, the front panel, and the back lining together now, swing half inch down. Take note this time around, this is the back, the front panel, and the lining of the back together. So you're sewing this down. Now please watch carefully. Remember, these are three together. Now, when you get to this point, now remember there was a notch there where we sewed ourselves. So, you move from that notch down. Now you now push, push this in, pushing that the front panel. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to the second one. Let's do the second one. Okay. So at this stage, I'm true with the sewing. This is sewing. I'm true with the sewing. So the next thing we need to do is this. You now put a notch all through. Take note. You put a notch at this edges. We're putting a notch all right so when you're through putting the notch now turn this to the good side turn this to the good side you're turning this you're turning the yoke to the good side you're turning the yoke to the good side okay so you turn this to the good side so you iron this neatly we iron this neatly. We've done the turning. We iron this neatly. Iron this neatly all through. Alright, so you do the same thing to the left panel. These are right panel, so you do the same thing to the left panel. Alright, so let's turn this to the wrong side so we we'll have this. Now, if you take a look, there's still a black point here. Now, this is the point where you put your lining. This is the point where you put your lining. Now, if you take a look at this, look, this is the wrong side. Now, these are main fabric, the inside. Now, if you take a look, so this is the point where we cut our lining. So, we'll do the same thing at this point. So, we'll now get the lining we want to use. All right, so we'll get the lining that I want to use. This is the lining that I want to use. This is the lining. So, what you do is this. You place the main one at the top. So, you now use it to trace the lining. Remember, we just want to cover this point, this black point that is remaining. We just want to cover this point. So what you do is this, you get the lining to trace, so you watch carefully while I trace, the lining is under, so I'm trying to trace this, tracing this, you can use a chalk to mark first, tracing this, okay, so you have something like this there, so this is what you have, something like this there, so I've done tracing, so you cut this other part as well. So you do the same thing for the second part. Whatever thing you do here, you do the same thing for the other part as well. 
so right so we have this so we'll now go to our same machine now let's indicate the good side so let's indicate now this is the wrong side of your lining this is the wrong side so you come to our same machine all right as you can see i've marked the wrong side of my fabric at the end of the sewing this part should be showing as you can see this is it so we'll go to the same machine to sew all right, so I'll be sewing this. Now, remember, this is a good side. The end of the day is this. So you now turn this to this other part. Just take note, good side to the good side. So you now sew. Let me take it again so you see what I just did. Remember, this is the good side of your line is showing. So you now turn this. This is part. You now turn this to this other part. So you now pick up this. Then you sew this together. Remember, you're just sewing a quarter inch to the end. You're sewing this. True sewing, so now go to the ironing table. All right, so I'm true sewing, so now turn this back as you can see. So you see now, so now iron that part neatly. So you have this ready. So you do the same thing for the other part as well. So you cut off the excess. Now, this is the excess, so you cut it off. Alright, so when you're through with that, now watch carefully. Remember, this is the point of the armhole. So you remove a little. Now, still on the lining, you remove just a little. Now, take a look. The two together, but this time around, you trim off the lining a little. The excess of doing that so that the lining should not be showing at the armhole point. You're trimming this off just a little to avoid the lining showing. So you're doing this to your other panel this is the left panel you're doing this your right panel okay so we have this so this is what you arrive at you can see now okay so this to join the front panel and the back panel and the lining and we're through with the other part now this is the left panel this is the left so you open this your back panel you open your lining all right now at the point remember the same way you fix your symmetry the neck to that neck point so you open this make sure it laps that point very well then you close you close and after that you are sewing half inch you are sewing the shoulder slant half inch down now watch carefully when you get to this point now that is the front panel at the middle I don't know if you are seeing it from there that is the front panel this is, this is the front panel this is your lining look at your lining so you sew you stop at where the front panel is, you stop there, you stop there, and when you stop there, where, so, you shift this in, now remember this, you're sewing just the back panel and its lining alone, you're moving down the armhole, you're moving down, remember, the back panel and the lining alone, this is the armhole, you're moving down the armhole, just the armhole, you're moving down. Now when you get to the end of this armhole, you now bring in the front panel. Now the front panel is inside, so you bring it out. You bring it out in the front panel. You bring out the front panel. Now you place this, remember that is the point where we should and stop front panel now close then you continue this time around is the three the back panel the front panel and the lining the three of them together this time around three together
So remember the three together, chain the three. You push now, please take me. You push this in after the notch, middle after the notch, you're pushing the front panel in. So you have that. So you cut off this. So now, please, the arm hook point, you put a notch, you will notice that it's a, you know, like this. So you put notch all through. Put a notch all through. This is the arm hook point. Put a notch all through. This is the arm hook point. You're putting a notch all through arm hook point. So you do the same thing for the other part as well. When you're through sewing. Put a notch. So we are almost through with our waist codes. Okay. All right. So that is how to go. Out. All right, so we turn this, we are not turning this from this point. Remember, while we are sewing it down, we skipped four inch. So that is the point where you are bringing everything out. That is the point where you are bringing everything out. I am trying to bring out everything from that four point mark. Bringing out everything. So, I brought out everything from the four inch mark. So quickly, from that point, okay, from that point, right. So I want to make sure that this place is well, you know, from that point. Now this is the point where the notch is. I'm trying to bring out now, as you can see, this is the slits that we allow 2.5 so now that point that we open so you quickly get your hand needle either use your hand needle to sew that point in or you just get your you know just tap all right so i'm trying to we are through with our waistcoat i'm just trying to iron every other part down neatly we are through with our waistcoats it's done little so this is how to go about making. Okay. Alright, so this is the end product of. Alright, so this is the end product of what we just made. Alright, once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing Online Class.